Hey everyone and welcome back to another Unreal Tips and Tricks tutorial. In today's episode, we will learn about how to efficiently use decals and how to use the sorting order to combine multiple decals on the same surface without overlapping each other. A decal is a material that is projected onto meshes in your level, including static meshes and skeletal meshes. In this level example, I have a simple decal actor projected onto the wall. I can grab the actor and move it on the X and Z axis. Now, if we orbit around the decal and move it on the Y axis, we can see that it's not projecting on the wall anymore because the bounding box is not hitting the static mesh. Now, as soon as I pull that bounding back, you can see that decal gradually fading back in again. Let's move to our second scenario, which we have a mass decal projected on multiple meshes. As per the previous example, the decal is projected on all static meshes. So if I move the actor, we can see that it's projecting on all meshes. Now, if we go into orbit mode and move the Y axis, we can see that we gradually see the decal being projected on meshing as the bounding box hits that object. Now, let's say we want the decal only hitting the wall. Let's select our two foreground elements by holding shift. And on the details panel on the right, let's search for decals. We can see that both of our actors have the receive decals checked on, which is always on by default. If we turn that off, the meshes are simply not affected by any decal projections, thus only projecting the decal onto the wall. Now we get a feel of how decals are working in 3D space. Let's move on to this example and demonstrate how to use the sorting order priority to bring specific decals to the forefront. So in this scenario, I have three decals that are classed in sorting order priority. The red one being at the bottom of the stack and the green one being on top. To better understand the process, let's click on the red decal actor and let's focus our attention to the details panel on the right. We can see that we have a sort order priority system on our decal. And right now my red actor has a sort order of zero, placing it at the very bottom of the stack. If we look at our green decal, we have a sort order priority of three. The blue one has a sort order of one. So if I want my red actor to be in between the two, I would simply enter a value of two. Now, if I give a number higher than three, which is my green actor, this will override all of my decals. So if I scale this, you can see exactly how the priority system is working. Now, if I reset this to zero, I now have my two other decals on top of my red one. Taking this example to a real scenario with some mega scans decals, we can apply our previous techniques to achieve great results by using our decals in a smart way, selecting which static mesh should receive or not decals and sorting the priority order in the decals for a more natural look. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and see you very soon on the next Unreal Tips and Tricks video.